afternoon. This is HorseRacingNation.com handicapper Jared Horak. And this is our first of two video races this week. Uh, we have a, a, a couple big races for Kentucky Derby preps. Uh, the first video we're going to do will be the ninth race from Fairgrounds, the grade uh, two Louisiana Derby. And they're going to be going nine furlongs. We've got a full field. And I'm joined once again by my HorseRacingNation.com and Derby Wars colleague, Ryan Patterson. Let's try to pick some winners. And this race is going to be part of, of the big $25,000 Derby Wars tournament on Saturday. Right, and it looks like both the Florida and Louisiana Derby could key some prices. They could be the difference makers. Yeah, they have some, some good fields. 14 horses in this one. We have 10 in, in the Florida Derby. Uh, but let's get to, the, to the, this, this race of this Louisiana Derby. Our favorite in here, a revolutionary. Uh, the tepid favorite, uh, but uh, for the Todd Pletcher barn, and he has plenty of three-year-olds that, that are on the trail. Right, Revolutionary is a bit of a confusing horse. I know that you love him, but I feel like he's a little slow on paper, and there are enough chances in here to take a shot against him. Yeah, I like Revolutionary here. I think uh, he should still offer a, a fair price because of the full field. He's not going to be 6-5, to five, uh, but he will probably be in the 5-2 to two range, I would guess. Um, he did run fast in his maiden win at Aqueduct. Uh, that was the end of December. And then in February, in the Wither Stakes, he had all kinds of trouble. There wasn't much pace. The number didn't come back quick, but I think that was more of the slow pace. But he looked good overcoming the trouble, but he can't get in that kind of trouble against better horses or he could be in trouble. Right, and it looks like he could be facing a slow pace once again, Jared. And I think the key to this race is going to be Tidal Town 5, who figures to make the lead with John Court from the outside. But uh, Tidal Town 5 is out of a forced wildcat mare and figures to hit a brick wall at some point in the stretch. Yeah, Tidal Town 5 has yet to run this far. It ran fast, uh, breaking the maiden at Churchill last October, then had some physical issues. Uh, came back in the gazebo stakes at six furlongs at Oakland Park. Uh, was up on the pace that day, finished second. Uh, stretching out in distance for sure is going to be the one to catch, but as you said, uh, stamina could be an issue here. Now, a lot of these horses are coming out of that Risen Star Stakes. It was bunched up, uh, and we didn't think it was particularly strong. Uh, what, did, what do you think of some of the horses coming out of that race? I think it's tough to separate them, and unfortunately we have the majority of the field exiting that race, so I sort of feel like, you know, you might as well throw a dart. I don't think you can feel too confident in any of the horses exiting that event. Yeah, Palace Malice has an interpose. This is the other Pletcher runner. Uh, has a versatile running style and, and could move forward third off the shelf. Right, uh, and he's the other Pletcher, and we've seen those horses win often, and they pay well. I used that angle last weekend in the Sunland Derby. I did the other Baffert. The only problem was Governor Charlie ended up going off the favorite. Uh, but this time, for sure, a revolutionary will be the favorite. Palace Malice will offer more value under Edgar Prado. Uh, anybody else you like in here? Well, I'm going to make my top pick Proud Strike. Like I told you, I think Title Town 5 is going to hit a brick wall at some point in the race. And this uh, Louisiana Derby looks much like last year's event in which Hero of Order won. If you recall, he pretty much just inherited the lead and kept on going. I'm going to look for new jockey Corey Nakatani to sit right behind Title Town 5. And when that one uh, runs out of gas, he's going he's gonna to keep going. Yeah, that's Ten to one. You're right, that definitely could happen, something like that. Uh, any exotic players you think that are long shots that are worth looking at? One of the good things about the Louisiana Derby is there isn't a horse in here that can't win. And there isn't a horse in here that doesn't have a shot. So spreading underneath is probably a very wise decision. I have the, the son of Big Brown, Ground Transport. He looks like he could get a piece. Yeah, he definitely could. Uh, you're right. Uh, Proud Strike was one that I picked in the Risen Star Stakes. He went out and set the pace from the inside post that day. I think maybe he, he wants to stalk the pace, and he'll probably get that kind of trip today. Get off the rail would probably help him as well. Yeah, that, that would definitely help. He was on the rail with Gary Stevens last time. He, he kind of got a little bit of aggress aggressive, and I think maybe because of the post position. But now that he's drawn a better today, uh, Corey Nakatani is going to ride. He's probably going to sit a more tactical trip. Uh, just a question of is he good enough, uh, but I'm going to stick with him as a, as a logical underneath contender. And then Golden Soul, uh, we both said he was a live log shot in the Risen Star. He ended up finishing sixth. It wasn't a terrible effort, but now at a mile and an eighth, I think the longer the better for this one. Right, and uh, did you see who's in the irons? Well, definitely uh, for Golden Soul, we have Calvin Burrell. So uh, somehow, love him or hate him, you can't bet against him. <laughs> I think from post four, you, you know he's going to get over to the rail. And, and right. somehow, maybe he can sneak up the rail and get a, at least a piece of it. Uh, so how are you going to play this race? We might see that Calvin magic one more time. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go with a win bet on Proud Strike and maybe use him second, wheel him on top and bottom in the exacta and just see what happens. And I got Revolutionary as my top choice here. Uh, my second choice uh, is, is going to be... Um, 
Crowd Strike, and then I'm going to go with um, Golden Soul uh, to round out my trifecta. Well, that I wrap up our, our, our video analysis of the Louisiana Derby. Uh, we'll be back with the Florida Derby.